often, when people have problems with the recipe, it's because ingredients weren't measured properly. That's particularly true with baking. Use liquid measuring cups for liquid ingredients and dry measuring cups for dry. Honestly, I can't stress how important this is. Nothing will throw a recipe off more quickly than, say, measuring out your flour using a liquid measuring cup because you'll end up with much more than you need for the final recipe. Measuring spoons, on the other hand, can be used for both liquid and dry ingredients. Place the measuring cup on a flat, level surface before measuring. This goes for both liquid and dry ingredients. Level off your dry ingredients so they're flush with the top of the measuring spoon or cup. Do this gently using a flat level, like a ruler or the back of a knife. And when it comes to flour, gently spoon, don't pack the flour into the measuring cup. Packing will throw off a recipe by adding much more flour than is called for in the recipe. And don't scoop the flour using the same spoon or cup with which you're planning to measure. This will also pack the flour. Now, when it comes to brown sugar, go ahead and pack it into the measuring spoon or cup. Yes, I know, this is the total opposite of flour. Finally, follow the recipe as it's written. Changing or substituting ingredients alters the recipe and will almost always alter the results, especially when it comes to the chemistry of baking.